Hello everybody. Uh, if you're having problems with programs on your computer that do not run correctly and you remove them and try to reinstall them and still they do not work, well this video might be just for you. Uh, I'm making this video based on one of my readers. Uh, one of my readers wrote, I tried uninstalling the Clipmarks application in my IE and reinstalling it once again, but I can't make the clip button work. When I press the button, the green bar doesn't appear. Can you help me? I tried the Clipmark support mail, but didn't get an answer. Uh, if you can help, I would really appreciate it. Well, first, I, you know, I, it really sucks when a company does not return your email. So I, I really hope that they eventually do. But uh, I'm making this video based on this reader to help him out. His name is Guille or Gaio, which uh, I believe is probably the right pronunciation for that name. But um, hopefully this will help you as well. Um, there's a program called Wretch Seeker, and I will show you in a few minutes how you know it works and how you could do this on the screen but with Reg Seeker it's a free program uh, I'm gonna put on my blog where you can download it so remember to visit aramistech.com where you can download the free program there there will be a link and um, Reg Seeker what it does is it, you, you let's say right now you have a program you install it and again and again like uh, this particular gentleman is having with clip marks well they uninstall the program you reinstall it and this program continues what you do is you uninstall the program completely you can do this by going to your control panel and then going to add and remove programs, finding the program there and removing it. Once you remove it, what you want to do is remove all traces from the registry on this program. So what you do is with RegSeeker, you run that and type in the name of the program you want to remove. And RegSeeker will search your whole registry with any information that has to do with, let's say, with clip marks in this case that this gentleman is having this problem uh, but it could be any other programs you are having a problem with you type in the name of your program and it will search the whole registry and show you a whole listing of all these entries now uh, what you do is basically you can uh, choose the, all the entries at once and remove them from the system and it will do a backup so you don't, have, you don't have to worry about everything so it will do a backup of that and then reboot the computer and once you do that then try to reinstall the program that way the program all the traces of it were removed and you are going to do a real clean install because unfortunately some of these programs you remove them and they leave uh, you know tags and information in the registry uh, regarding them so you know you might just reinstall it and keep having the same problem again and again now also keep in mind one thing you might have a, pro a problem with maybe another program that's interfering with that one so you know I, I can't go into all those details but this particular one might help you and it has worked for me in the past many times uh, to solve solutions like that so uh, in the next few minutes I'm going to show you now how this works and how you can use Red Seeker to actually remove a program I'm going to use the clip marks program in this particular video uh, to help this gentleman out and like I said it, it's the same example for any other program that's giving you a problem uh, thank you for watching and remember visit rmstech.com for more information on this particular software and other videos that I've made that might help you with other uh, computer problems or, or um, solutions to other things that you might be looking for and thank you okay once you download the program from uh, rmstech.com uh, the Red Seeker software this is a registry cleaner so it, it does a few things among all the other stuff that it does but once you download it, extract it and it's going to put a folder on your desktop or wherever you put it. So we'll click on that folder and open it. Then you're going to scroll down inside that folder. You're going to find some content. Click on the icon that says Reg Seeker. It looks like a little computer. Double click on that. Click on Run. And you will be presented with the Reg Seeker screen. And the program will come up. Um, this program is really good and you don't have to worry about damaging any information on your registry since it automatically will back up that registry. We're going to click on find in registry and we're going to use clip marks which is what uh, my reader is having a problem with. So hopefully this will help him and it will help you with other programs that you might have problems with. So leave the settings here that you have by default, don't change them. Uh, these settings are, will work, click search. And it's going to start searching the whole registry with anything that has the word clip marks in it. Which is great because, you know, you can see it all highlighted and they're showing blue. And just you can scroll down here and see the total amount of information that it shows you. Once it's done scanning, okay, it will stop by itself. You'll see it at the very bottom. You see a, it says key local machine and it's scanning. And you'll see all the files going through it. 
on the registry, but once it is finished, it'll actually stop by itself. You'll see that not move anymore. So now it's done. And what you want to do is, if you right click, you'll see that it's empty. There's no options when you right click now. Because we first have to scroll down and click select all. Before I do this, uh, I want to show you that uh, on backup before deletion is checked. Make sure that that's always like that. Uh, so it backs up what we're about to remove. And then go to select all again, which is the option that we'll show you. Click on that. Choose select all from the options. And they all now are highlighted. Once they're all highlighted, now you can right click on any space you want and it will bring up a menu. Choose from this menu, delete selected items. Once you choose that, delete all selected items will come up again, a confirmation, click OK. Now it's empty, it removed them completely from the registry. Now you can try to reinstall the software again and uh, see if this works for you. This actually removes any traces of that software. I also wanted to show you that there's a bunch of little links here on the program that you can use that might be very useful and I will post more information on the website regarding this program. Remember to visit adamstech.com for more information and I hope this video helped you out with problems you might have with programs not running correctly. Well there you have it. Red Seeker is a really cool registry cleaner. It's free and it's very easy to use as you saw in the video. I hope this helped you and I hope it helped my reader with problems that you might have with programs not running correctly on your computer and you can remove all the registry entries for that particular program. Uh, while this might not always save you from having issues with the program or might not fix the, the, the particular problem you're having, uh, it is a very useful tool and like I mentioned it has helped me in the past remove problems that I'm having by taking away all the entries that I have for a particular program out of the registry and letting me do a nice new clean install for that program. So truly that's one of the very important parts. Um, I will also check the program folder. You know, If you go to the local disk on your computer and go to program files, you will find there um, sometimes traces of the program that did not uninstall correctly. So you might want to just remove that folder completely from there. So you want to double check on that one. But I really appreciate you watching my video, for writing me your comments, and thank you for watching.